Girl, let's talk about Miss Jordan, sweetheart, and these Kardashians. So you guys know Jordan is headed up to here, and I don't blame Jordan. And you know what? She's going on Friday to speak to the goddamn Jada Smith, and she's spilling all the damn tea. And you know what? The Chloe's and the Kim's, they are mad about it, okay? When I tell you they are scratching their damn eyeballs out, they like, damn, Jordan, how the hell are you going to make this all about you? How in the hell are you going to have an interview and you're not supposed to say nothing because we made you sign an NDA long time ago. But girl, let this sink in right here, okay? Now, this talk about karma is a mother. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Kim and China were besties. China had a baby with Tiger. God damn, Kylie began dating Tiger. China had a baby with Dan. It's confusing me already. I, I'm lost. China had, I gotta slow down and say this shit. China had a baby with Tiger. Kylie began dating with Tiger. This is a tongue twister for my ass. China had a baby with Rob, Justine. And Kylie were besties. Justine dated Travis. Now Kylie has a baby with Travis. Chloe has a baby with Tristan. Kylie, Bestie, Jordan slept with Christian, okay? And let's not forget how um uh Chloe played Trina ass and had sex with her her boyfriends and all these other girls, black girls. Chloe and all these hoes, they befriend these black girls and sleep with their fucking man. So I don't got no sympathy for the goddamn Kardashians. Sorry. So anywho, we gonna talk about how the Kardashians, they are planning to rip Miss Jordan apart from behind the scenes. And people are saying, well, you know the Kardashians, they ain't do nothing but unfollow you, bitch. No, they doing a whole bunch. They are sabotaging this girl. They are taking her deals behind her, you know, behind the scenes. They're doing a whole, but these are sneaky ass women. And these women are in their goddamn 40s and 50s. You got Chris, you got Kim, you got Chloe in their goddamn 40s. Uh, Ky Chris in her goddamn 50s. And Kylie and Kendall, she, they in their goddamn 20s against 21 year old Jordan Woods by herself. Okay? <laughs> That shit ain't right. It don't sit well with me. So let's uh, go on to read on some stuff. So let's get on to this first one right here. Bam. Okay. How much tea can Jordan Woods really spill? Okay. Kardashians reportedly has made her sign an NDA. Okay. Now they are saying this. I'm going to read. Y'all ready to read? Okay. Come on, Sam. Now, we all got our popcorn ready for Friday, okay? Like I told y'all, she's going to be at the red table when Friday. Will much be anticipated appearances of Jada Pinkett Smith's red carpet, you know, red table, whatever. So, um, so she, they ain't saying much on here. I guess we can read the kind. The people are saying uh, F for NDA. And that's what I'm saying, F for NDA. You know what? At the end of the day, I think she made an NDA talking about um Kim Kardashian now, but she ain't say no NDA about her personal business and what she doing in the goddamn bedroom with Tristan, okay? They don't got nothing to do with the Kardashians, sweetheart. They, she ain't taping, so I don't know what's in that D in DNA. So um, can y'all comment, let us know what, what they got in that NDA or DDA, whatever that is, what they got. Should I, I'd never sign an ND who to take away my freedom to speak, especially around these conniving hoes? Oh, hell no. So let's go on to this one right here. Eyewitness dispute Jordan Woods blackout. I, basically, they're saying that um, Jordan is trying to say she's drunk, and people are, do not like that. She's saying, oh, you're drunk. You was in a drunk excuse. She's a young girl. Yeah, she's drunk. She probably been doing some, who else, sniffing. I don't know. You know how these Hollywood people are. You know, when you do alcohol and drugs, sometimes you may not be in your right frame of mind to do some stuff, okay? I don't, I'm not going to judge this girl. I favor her anyway over them. Sorry. So this week, um, damn, this week, rumors that Kylie best friend Jordan was claiming she was blacked out drunk when she made out with Kylie's oldest sister Kardashian's 
baby daddy Christian, okay, at a kickback at Tristan's house party. Eyewitness claims if her story, Jordan is not telling the whole truth, okay? Hollywood Unlocked. Now, see, that's the thing to me. It seemed like Hollywood Unlocked is some kudos with the Kardashians and trying to make Jordan to be a liar. That's how, that's the tea I'm feeling. I don't know. That's just what I feel in my spirit. So Hollywood Unlock can ex exclusively report that Jordan Woods was coherent and completely aware of her actions during her tr with Tristan time. That's not true, because a lot of times y'all thought that Jasmine was fine and she was coherent during her time on the stage, and we all know she was on something that night. So that I don't, I don't care what a a, a a goddamn investigator blogger gonna come back and say. I don't want to hear from the horse's mouth. You don't, you wasn't in her body. You wasn't around her 24-7. I don't want to hear that. Y'all just trying to make these Kardashians look good. I'm tired of their asses. So Hollywood Unlock reject these claims that Jordan was blacked out drunk. So that's their blogger is saying, no, she was not blacked out drunk. I don't give a fuck what motherfuckers say. Jordan, speak your truth. If you was blacked out drunk, bitch. I'm going to say you was blacked out drunk, okay? <laughs> How about that? Because we were physically present while Jordan, just like all the other attendees, were drinking. She was perfectly aware of her surroundings and was very coherent. At no point she seemed wasted or blacked out drunk. But at the end of the day, you don't know what she had in her system, okay? I know a whole bunch of people that do, they do that sniffing stuff, but I don't know they sniff. I don't know. You don't know what a person mindset is and where they at mentally. Who dared you to tell somebody, oh, I seen you, you wasn't this and you wasn't. You don't know. You don't know. Jordan has her own damn story. Let that girl tell it. Damn. So she was 21. He's a grown ass man taking advantage and they need to stop trying to act like she's the villain. Hello. He wasn't in her relationship with Chloe, and she's looking like Jordan, old auntie at this point. Let's be good. Let Yes, very. Let's be clear. See, I'm with the people on this. Somebody said, I just want to know why was she there to have a good time at a damn party? Why else? She's 21. Why would she have a party? Why is Tristan still having got them kickbacks when he's married? He was going to sleep with somebody that damn night. Okay, you need to worry about your damn husband. That's the one that vowed to promise to your ass he's going to be faithful. Jordan didn't make those damn promises, sweetheart. You got all this damn energy at Jordan. You need to keep that energy at your damn man for making you look like a damn fool. Chloe, just in case you... Uh. So Chris got these blogs on payroll. She sure do. She showed do. They are going to drag this girl to kingdom come. Nevertheless, keep your head up, Jordan. You messed up. I can see if you are dealing uh, with a family based on integrity. However, they are trash, have no morals compass either, okay? Oh, well, stay focused, okay? Yeah, Jordan, you're just going to have to gamble this up to the best of your ability, bitch. I got to give Chris credit. She wrote the hell out of this script for this season, making her own red table, making her go on red table to continue this lie was a nice touch. This family is so thirsty for the spotlight. It's sad. Okay. So some people believe that this is all a just cahoots. Do y'all believe that this is all a cahoots? If you believe it's just all fake Comment in the comment section. We want to know, do y'all believe it's just fake, okay? And those ugly-ass, sparkly-ass outfits they had yesterday doesn't make them look any better. It makes them look desperate, okay? And TMZ is flaunting all over them like they're not hella tired and played out. I'm not even hating. I like the Kardashians, but I'm tired of them always playing the damn victim and burying black bodies in their waist, okay? Over it. And I feel you on that. All right, I ain't going to read no more. All right, so as y'all see, a lot of people feel some type of way. We want y'all to comment. Let us know how y'all feel about this Jordan and these Kardashians is trying to shred her a piece of sweetheart and it ain't right jordan i'm standing with you okay you whatever you did i don't give a i don't care 
I'm standing with you, boo. All right, and I love y'all. Bye.